พระประวัติของพระมหาวีระความฝันอันยิ่งใหญ่ทั้ง16ของราชินีตรีชละพระมารดาของพระมหาวีระตอนที่สองจากสามตอนในระหว่างอาจารย์และลูกศิษย์ปัญญายในภาษาจีนและอังกฤษในวันที่22มิถุนายน2019ณนะอาสมนิวแลนด์ไต้หวันหรือที่รู้จักกันว่าฟอร์โมซาชิดาตา
Apart from being respected and chosen as a Raja king, he also was a highly influential member of the Vaishali Republic. Trishla, the sister of the President Shitak of Vaishali, was married to Siddhartha. Now you know, okay? Now, Trishla, yeah. She's also from a long lineage of royalty and a good reputation of families, yeah. So now she was married to this Raja Siddhartha. She was also known as Vidadina and Priyakarini. These are also titles, yeah, that you don't earn by the king appointment, but by people's uh, love and respect as well, also from the lineage where she came from. Hmm? So just to introduce, Lord Mahavira came from a long, royal, respected, good, reputable family. So, Chatek's elder son, Simhabhadra, commander-in-chief of the army of the Raji Republic. Maharaj Chitek has seven daughters. Lord Chitek has another son, okay? And uh, he has seven daughters as well. So now, so now we come to the mother of Lord Mahavira, okay? Queen Trisla. Queen Trisla, before the birth of Lord Mahavira, she has premonition, very clear in many dreams. I will read to you one by one. One night, Queen Trisla had 14 great dreams, 14 in one night. It cannot be dreams. It could be vision. Yeah, it should be vision. Because a dream cannot be so consecutive and so clear that when she woke up, she remember everything. So it's like when we meditate, we woke up uh, from Samadhi, we remember many, many visions, yeah? Or not remember, it depends on how you meditate at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you meditate on the shoulder of your sister or brother, or you meditate in the front, I don't know, okay? And then you remember or not remember, but you just think you remember something. Sometimes you remember the whole vision or vision, sometimes just a part of it, sometimes just a fl flitting light when maybe your husband or your wife kick you awake and then you say, huh, there was some light, what was it then? <laughs> Because <laughs> you, you were not very conscious in your vision, yeah? You sleep, you also have vision, but then when you wake up, you forget. And maybe you think it's just a dream, huh? And then you don't remember anything, yeah? Also, no. It doesn't matter, okay? Important is you progress inside and outside, and you're happy with yourself as a human, as a practitioner, as an aspirant to sainthood. Uh, vision comes and goes. We have too many vision. We can have a lot, but that doesn't mean you are Buddha yet, okay? We just see things. Uh, she had 14 great dreams, this Queen Trisla. Yeah. Some scriptures say that Queen Trisla has 16 dreams. Uh, in this book they say 14, okay? It's okay, only two more. <laughs> Fourteen is great enough already, I think. If you even, all of you, any of you can remember four of them, when you get up from your meditation seat, I'd be very, very impressed already. <laughs> Fourteen is a, is a far-fetched dream for my own so-called initiates. But we can hope for that. <laughs> so uh, the dreams filled her with wonder and joy, of course, nah? who wouldn't be, who wouldn't be joyful and happy? Yeah. Because these are very auspicious dreams. That's why they say great, great dreams, not just ordinary, ordinary dream or nightmare, but great dreams, that means very good. So she woke up feeling very joyful and happy. And she woke up her husband, Siddhartha, and told him what she saw in the fourteen dreams. King Siddhartha, very, very, very joyful too. So the next day, when the sun rises, he summoned all the scholars to his court. You know, the learned and the knower, the seers, the sage, and 
The saint of his country at that time, he summoned them all into his court and asked them about the meaning of these dreams. The first dream Queen Trisla had was of an elephant. It's funny, the mother of the Buddha, before conceiving the Buddha, she also saw the elephant with a six tusk, not normal elephants. Elephant normally only have two, yeah? And then once you have six, wow, beautiful, mm. a beautiful one, yeah. So she saw an elephant. It was a big, tall, and impetuous with four tusks. Oh, a little less than the Buddha's mother's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in respect for the Buddha, yeah. It was an auspicious elephant and was endowed with all the desirable marks of excellence even. Not just a normal elephant, not just only four tusks, but endowed with so many auspicious marks of uh, excellent marks of uh, an exceptional elephant. Uh, this dream of elephant indicated that she would give birth to a child with exceptionally high character. The four tusks signify that he would guide the spiritual chariot with its four components, monks, nuns, laymen, and laywomen. Ah, oh, so it was. The four tusks indicate that, that he will be the master of four types, you know, monks, nuns, laymen, laywomen, I mean, included all, the monastic and the lay people. Wow, it's just like the Buddha, huh? So the second dream Queen, Queen Trisla had was of a bow, you know, buffalo kind, yeah, buffalo. The bow, bow was noble, grand, and had a majestic hump, you know, here, yeah? You know the bow, they have a hump here on the shoulder. It had the fine, bright, and soft hairs on its body. Its horns were superb and sharply pointed. This dream indicated that her son would be highly religious and a great spiritual teacher. He would help cultivate the religion. The third dream Queen Trisla had was of a magnificent lion. His claws were beautiful and well poised. The lion had a large, well-rounded head and sharp teeth. His lips were perfect and his eyes were sharp and glowing. What a special lion, huh? His tail was impressively long and well-shaped. Queen saw this lion descending towards her and entering her mouth. Wow, normally it's the opposite. Something entered the lion's mouth, but this the lion entered the queen's mouth in her dream. This dream indicated that her son would be as powerful and strong as the lion. The people also likened the Buddha to the lion and, and likened his voice of Dharma teaching as the roar of the lion. Yeah. Uh, at that time, I guess, in India, these animals, elephant, lions, etc., are the symbol of power spiritual power and vigor and also leadership. This dream indicate that her son would be as powerful and strong as the lion. He would be fearless, almighty, and capable of ruling the world. The fourth dream Queen Trisla had was of the goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, prosperity, and power. She was seated on a lotus and wore many rows of pearls interlaced with emeralds and a gallon of gold. A pair of earrings hung over her shoulders with dazzling beauty. This dream indicated that her son would enjoy great wealth and splendor. He would be a Tatanka the supreme benefactor of all. Wow, what a being, huh? Not born and already being predicted as such a great spiritual, grander, great spiritual teacher and leader of human, of the world. 